Hello, let's place some dominoes in pips. We'll start with the easy puzzle, as usual. All right, completely linear horizontal um, grid. So we'll need the double zeros for the zero zone. That will transition straight into the zero and one. Uh, a double one to create a total of two, and then finally three. And that is the only way this could have been filled, I think. Although you could have flipped that last one, I guess. All right, let's try medium. Okay, we've got a four equivalence region. Uh, we've got four threes, and I think that's the only possibility, actually. Um, we've got tens. Okay, does the, do we have a six and a four or a double five? We don't, which means we'll need to spill over between the ten and the equals, which means that the double three, we'll have a double three in the middle because we'll need, you know, loners sticking out into it. Uh, so the ten could be constructed with a with two fives or a six and a four. Oh, but the 11 must be six and five, and it also is going to have to split based on what we've just done here. So six and five, I don't know, this feels pretty open-ended. We could put a six and a five going in there, and then, I know we need the threes, so we could put a five and an empty to finish the 10. We need a three and a four to go into that 10, finish that with a six. I think there are probably several ways this could have been solved. Um, oh no, but one of them's not this. <laughs> because now the three here would take away the five that we need up there. So that's actually, that's completely wrong. Let's just clear this. Okay, I'm going to put the double three back because I'm sure that's correct. Um, so yeah, where did I go wrong with that? Let's see. I kind of forget what I did actually. So if that's a three and a four... We would then need a six, which could, which would be this to preserve our fives and such. This three would then need to go here. Well, now we've used that five. Yeah, I think I'm making the exact same mistake I did last time. I am. I am. Okay. Sorry about this. This is ridiculous. So uh, we'll put the three and the five over there, and then the five in the blank here to preserve our our fives as much as possible, which I keep failing to do. The three, yeah, this makes more sense. The three and the four goes here, and then um, the six goes here, the five spills over into the ten, and the four here. That was a very poor solve. Sorry about that. That was the medium. Let's hope I don't, don't have as much trouble with the hard, but I may do. All right, here's the hard. Let's try it. Okay, so we've got, uh, oh, we've got greater than 15. That's interesting. So it'll be, I guess, 16, 17, or 18. Um, we've got a one that goes into a zero, so there's only one way to do that. So we can actually put that in now. We'll just do that. And then a zero that goes into less than three. So we've actually, that's forced as well. So we've got a zero with a two that goes into less than three. And now we need two zeros poking up out of the three. Wait, no, this seems wrong as well. This is not my day, is it? One and zero. Now it's got to be that. Zero, yeah, zero must be another zero, and it's looking at less than three. No, this must be right. So don't we now need two zeros in the three? Yeah, we must. Okay, so what, what are some equals possibilities that we have? Boy, these are so small, I'm finding this hard to parse. We've got plenty of fours. We've got plenty of fives. Okay, but we need we do need the two zeros pointing up. Do we have enough threes to be pointing up into the three? Yeah, I think we could do it with any of them. So we need one that's pointing vertically and one that's going horizontally into the inequivalence segment uh, region. And then we'll need a double to fill that equals up there, actually. I should have looked at that. So that could be a double five or a double four. And both, the, both fives and fours have a three to which they connect that could go into this equivalence region. Right, okay. Hmm. So we'll also need an equivalence going across into the inequivalence, which isn't, isn't very interesting. So what about this greater than 15? Greater than 15 means the bottom two must add up to at least 10. So it could be a double, f actually, maybe that means it has to be the double five. I think that is correct. I think double five is our only 
thing that adds up to 10, which we'll need that to be in order to preserve greater than 15. So now we need a 6 pointing up out of that in order to be greater than 15, to reach 16. And in fact, we only have one possibility. Okay, good. This is more fruitful. So we've got the 6 pointing up into there. Now we can have no more 2s in this region. That's the only restriction we have on it. Um, and this 6 will have, you know, we'll split between the 6 and something else. And actually, this 2... It could be two two ones, or it could be a two and a blank. And the ten will need. We have no sixes, so the ten must be two fives. Actually, we can see that, and they they're each pointing downwards. So, I think. Let's see. Yeah, lots of possibilities here. Unfortunately, less than three. We'll need two. Oh, we'll need both zeros for that. Okay, that's I forgot about that. So the two now must be made up of two twos, the two two one two one pips. Sorry. So that means one of the fives is pointing down with a one pip. That we can we can see. The other five will come off of that as well. But now we also need the remaining one pip pointing down into here, which means we need two pips to make the six. Okay, good. We're finally getting somewhere. So we still have two choices for that one of which is a five. So we've got two fives to finish off the 10. Um, what else? So how does our, how do our two equivalences look now? We need three of each of something. Um, one of our fives is spoken for. We don't have enough fives. We do have three fours and three threes. Do we have, ex no, we have four threes, unfortunately, and four fours. So that, that doesn't, fully book either of those pip counts, unfortunately. Um, let's see. How do I do this without just sort of randomly trying things, which I'm usually not crazy about doing? Oh, no, right. I forgot. We're going to need a double number up here for the equivalent. So that is the four. That should probably That's probably been available for a while. So our last four will have a three on it because we need our other equivalents to be a three. That's good. Okay, so now we can put the three zero pointing down here, and we can also put our other three pointing across. It can't be the two because that would break the inequivalence region, so it must be the three with a five on it. Good. Okay, and then here we need our other empty half to point this way, so we're maintaining our inequivalence. Four, two, six, four, two, six, and what? Um, five or three. Uh, it needs to be the five, so we can point up into the two to finish the six region. And then finally, oh no, I've broken it. Oops. Wait, what did I do? This must go here. The five goes here. I hope I haven't broken this whole thing. I hope I just made a, a mistake towards the end. I think I did. No, that's wrong because now this is this is an oh no. What a catastrophic day. I'm sorry about this. I'm gonna start over because I don't there's no undo button, I don't think. So I don't, I don't know how to walk it back to where I made a mistake. We know the one and the zero go here. Sorry about this. This is this is ridiculous. So um Greater than 15, I'm going to just try and use the logic that I think was accurate. Um, greater than 15 means the 16 or more, which means the highest we can have in this top area of this region, the highest we can have there is 6, which means the bottom must be at least 10. Otherwise, it's not going to, to be that, that big. So at least 10, we could have two fives. And I think that's, that is still the only thing that could achieve that. So I think that must go there. And now, to be greater than 15, we still need a 6. We only have one 6. That goes here. So far, so good, I think. Okay. Um, now, the equivalence here is going to require, in, in this northeast corner, is going to require a double domino, you know, double equivalent domino, which must be these two fours. I think this is all strictly necessary so far. Now... 
if we wanted to finish that three region with the f- with a four one, that doesn't work because then we don't have three ones for the equivalence region. So that's not possible. Could it be four zero? Do we have three zeros for the equivalence region? We do in theory, but then we wouldn't have any zeros left for anywhere else. And I think we will need, well, maybe we won't need some. No, we will. We will because we've got the zero down there that we need to fill. So we need No, maybe that was a bad assumption. So how many we've how many what could we put in this equals? Five 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 three three three. And the zero oh right, and the zero going into the less than three can't be a four, can't be a three, it must be the two. So the two does go here. That is that must be right, yes. And that's why we still needed two empty dominoes for the less than three or two empty halves, because otherwise we'll we'll hit three and we'll break that. So we can't have the four with an empty, which means we must have the, f no, we can have a four with a one or a four with a three. We can't have a four with a one because we don't have enough ones to do the three size equivalence region. So the four points out into here. That's correct. That's all correct. Now, we don't have a double three, so one of the threes points down into this zero. That we must do. Our last zero must point left because it can't point up or it would break the three equivalents. Now, our inequivalence has six, two, four. So we can't repeat any of those in here. So the three, two can't point across because that would break that. So it must be the three, five that points across. So far, this feels like basically what I was doing, but I must have made a mistake, obviously, at some point. Um, so now what? The 10 must be two fives. That's the only possibility because we don't have anything bigger than five remaining in our dominoes. So one of those fives will point down into a one because otherwise we'll break the two. So that's correct. The other five now goes here. I hope I don't make the exact same mistake I made before. No, this is looking good. No, this is correct. Okay. I don't know what my mistake was. I apologize, but this is fine now. So we've, we've completed the two region, the four and the two combined to make the six, and that completes our equivalence region. Okay, I feel as though all of my logical inferences were the same as they were the first time, but for some reason I made a mistake the first time. Don't know what I did wrong, uh, but obviously I did do something. There we go. Those were the fifths. That was hard, obviously, for me today, um, but we got there in the end. Back tomorrow. Bye for now.